Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. We may have the perfect brownie today. We're making a peanut butter cheesecake brownie. Now peanut butter and chocolate are just the perfect combination and they're great for fall so you're going to want to hang on to this recipe for all your fall festivals and your church dinners and all your family get-togethers. Uh, your game day get-togethers and your fall cookouts. This is the dessert you're going to want to make for all those things. And they are not hard to make. For the brownies, I'm using an unsweetened baker's bar. This is 100% chocolate. A stick of butter, four eggs, two cups of sugar, a cup of flour, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a couple teaspoons of vanilla. Now for my peanut butter cream cheese filling, I have an 8 ounce block of cream cheese, a half a stick of butter, a half a cup of peanut butter, I'm using creamy, you could use crunchy if you wanted to, about a teaspoon of vanilla, another half a cup of sugar, and another egg. Now to start this, we are going to put our chocolate and our butter in the microwave and melt it. Now remember, be careful, you don't want to overheat your chocolate. You can also melt this over a double boiler or you can put it in a, a pan with kind of a heavy bottom and turn your stove eye just barely on low or even if you have a warm setting, use that. Now while our chocolate is starting, we're going to start mixing our filling. Go ahead and turn your oven on 350 degrees and get it preheated. Okay, we're going to combine our cream cheese and our vanilla and our butter and our peanut butter. Okay, I want to stir my chocolate now. And then we'll come back to the filling. You're going to have to put this in the microwave and take it out and stir it probably two or three times. You do want to heat it until your chocolate is completely melted. And it's got a ways to go. My butter is completely melted, but my chocolate's nowhere near melted. Back to the microwave. If you happen to have the melt button on your microwave, it'll kind of help keep you from over melting your chocolate. And that's what I'm using, but I know not all microwaves have that. If you don't have that, I recommend like 30 seconds, stir it, and then 10 or 15 seconds, stir it. Okay, we're just going to cream our filling ingredients up here a little bit. Let's check on our chocolate again. Okay, our chocolate's not completely melted, but it's almost melted. And I think at this point the butter's hot enough that I'm just going to stir it a little bit and get it to finish dissolving. Um, there is currently a chocolate shortage and a sugar shortage. And the ingredients for making homemade brownies are very expensive. One of the reasons why I'm using the chocolate bars is because we have an outlet grocery store here and I actually found the chocolate bars for a dollar each. Now, if you have an outlet grocery store where you live, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, you do need to keep an eye on the dates, but you can pick up some really good deals like 100% chocolate bars. Um, this is a four ounce bar, I think. Yes, a four ounce bar for a dollar. And I don't even know how much those are in the grocery store. Uh, you can use your favorite brownie recipe for this if you have a favorite brownie recipe. Or because of the shortages and the cost, I mean, sugar is over a dollar a pound now, which is just ridiculous. Uh, you can use a box mix in this. Just get the big one, the one that is for a 9 by 13 pan, because that's what we're making is a 9 by 13 pan. Okay, now my chocolate's all melted and my butter and my chocolate are smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in my sugar. Okay, 
and my salt and my vanilla and I'm gonna stir that up now adding the sugar and stuff in here is gonna cool my chocolate down so when I add my eggs my chocolate doesn't cook my eggs so it is kind of important that you put the sugar in now not the eggs okay now I'm just gonna beat my eggs a tiny bit and then I'm going to add them into my mixture. And you know what? I think a spatula would work better for this. <laughs> Far better than a whisk. Now I'm going to mix my eggs in to my chocolate and my sugar and my butter. All right, now once you get that combined, we're just going to add in our flour. And you don't really need to worry about sifting this. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't. <laughs> and just kind of fold that in there without making a mess. Okay, that's just about stirred up there. One of the things about brownies is you don't want to overmix your brownies because it will just destroy the texture of them. And the only thing that's going to make this recipe rise is the eggs. So you definitely don't want to overmix it. And now you want a 9 by 13 pan. Um, you can line the pan with parchment paper or um, aluminum foil. If you do aluminum foil, make sure you grease it. I have greased my pan. And if you line it, your pan won't get dirty and you can lift your brownies out. I like the edge that I get on brownies when I bake them in a pan. I mean, the edge is my favorite part, so I don't line my pan. But if you want to line yours so that you can lift them out of your pan, you know, you feel free. And you can use, like I said, parchment paper or aluminum foil. If you do aluminum foil though, make sure you grease it. And you might even want to spray your parchment paper with a little bit of cooking spray. I just wipe some butter in my pan and they're going to stick a little bit, but not so much that I can't get them out once they're cut. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get the whole pan of brownies out, but that's okay. Now we got to finish our filling here. Now it's not like mixed perfect, but it's mixed enough that we can go ahead and we can add our sugar in here. This is very similar to the cream cheese filling that we made in our pumpkin muffins. Um, you can use this filling, this peanut butter cream cheese filling, in muffins or cupcakes if you want to. It does have the egg in it, so you want to make sure you put it in what you're baking, not on top of what you're baking. Now I'm going to beat up my egg just a little bit, and I'm going to add it in here, and then I'm going to mix this up good. You do want your cream cheese, your egg, your butter, everything at room temperature. Um, and you can soften it in the microwave a little bit if you want to, to make it easier to mix. But mine was pretty soft, so I did not feel like I needed to put it in the microwave. All right, now we're just going to use a spoon and put drops of our filling on top of our brownies. Just scoop out spoonfuls and drop it in lumps. And once you get it all scooped out, then we're going to take a knife and swirl it to get it down in the brownies a little bit. If you want to be precise about this, you could use a cookie scooper and you could scoop out little round lumps and space them perfectly even on top of your brownies. I tend not to be a very precise baker. This one is definitely a good one for all those game day parties because I never met a man who did not enjoy chocolate and peanut butter. Of course, I don't think I ever met a woman who did not enjoy chocolate and peanut butter. So if you're having a, a big party or a get together this fall, this is a good one. Now, once you got it all on there, just take your knife and start swirling and as you swirl, it will kind of spread this out because obviously you don't want the big lump stacked up on top of your brownie mix. And go in both directions. 
and kind of cut it down into the brownies and it's going to spread out some more as it bakes and that looks pretty good now we just put this in our preheated 350 degree oven in 35 to 40 minutes our brownies are going to be done the top will be kind of lightly brown like you see here you'll be able to test them and you won't get big fudgy chunks if you test them with a toothpick or a knife or a cake tester or something but also when you touch them they'll bounce back and i pretty much always use the bounce back test this is an absolutely delicious treat all by itself um, you can bake these in muffin cups, you know, muffin pans and put cupcake liners in. And you can get 18 to 24 if you're doing them for like a fall festival or something. Or you want to take them to a Sunday school class or an office party or something like that. You can do them in the cupcakes. Um, use the foil liners though because a regular cupcake liner, you're going to have a real hard time getting that off. But if you use the ones that have the foil on the outside, they'll come out pretty easy and the brownies will come out just delicious. You do want to let these cool as I bake them for 35 to 40 minutes depending on your oven but till they're done. But let them cool. They'll come out of the pan much easier once they're cool. If you lined your pan you definitely want to let them cool because if you try to lift this out of the pan and it this hot it's just going to break all the pieces and you're going to have a big bunch of brownie crumble. You can also serve these with ice cream or with chocolate syrup a peanut butter sauce on them you know whatever you want but like i said they're good like this and because that peanut butter filling is baked in them you can hold them and eat them which makes them good for all the game day stuff and for the kids in sunday school class or at the fall festival or whatever if you want to dress them up you can dress them up with ice cream and some chocolate fudge peanut butter sauce anything like that and i am going to try to show you what these look like but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it out of here this hot. If you cut your brownies with a plastic knife, you will get a much cleaner cut. And also, if, you're, if you have them in a nonstick pan like this, it won't scratch your nonstick pan. Wow, I let that cool just another second. I want to share Psalm 122.6 with you. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. I know you have all been watching what's been unfolding on the TV and the internet. I mean, it's everywhere. There's no getting away from it or avoiding it. And I know you are all praying, as am I. But I also know that a lot, many of you probably feel compelled to help in some way. And you want maybe to even do something great to help but as individuals we don't have the ability to do that so we have partnered with the ifcj they are in israel they are on the ground they have the ability to get aid to the people who have been most affected food medical supplies, first aid, emergency shelters, um, and this is an organization that I trust. I have given to them for years. We have the fundraiser on our page. It's on this video, and you can give to them, and they will get the aid there, and every single dollar makes a difference. So you don't have to do anything grand to help. Just whatever you can do, and they'll get it there. It doesn't have to go through channels or whatever. They're there. They're working now. So if you haven't already joined that fundraiser, um, take a minute. It's something that you can physically do to help. And But please continue to pray for peace because peace in the Lord's protection is what is needed most. And like I said, I know you're all watching it because you can't get away from it. It's just everywhere. And it is so heartbreaking. And I personally appreciate everyone who helps with this. I mean, I know how generous you all are. And uh, I've seen it over and over and over again. And I know that you are a very obedient people, that you love the Lord 
and that He is a part of your life and that you pray and that you want to make a difference and you want to be a light in the world. And this is a way that we can be a light in a very dark moment for a lot of people. So I thank you and I know that the Lord will bless you if you participate in this. And, um, you know, I just please keep praying. Okay. So this is very, very hot. And what I'm probably going to get out of here is crumbles, but we'll see. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, there we go. There, it did come out. You can see this is a wonderful, moist, fudgy brownie with that cream cheese peanut butter filling on top and this is just absolutely the perfect taste combination these are a very fudgy brownie and that's a rich creamy peanut butter filling on top thank you so much for joining us in the hillbilly kitchen if you have not already please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave because we want you here every time we're here Share our videos with your friends, and until next time, remember to put God first.